Hey, it's Coach Jess with Fit Slay, and welcome to your workout. Let's get started. We're going to start first with our warm-up and stretch. Each stretch is for 20 seconds. Here we go. So our first stretch is shoulder shrugs. I want you to focus on bringing your shoulders all the way to your ears, pressing your shoulders down, really stretching out your upper back, and then forward and back around. Let's make some big circles for 20 seconds. In, the, in this movement, focus on slightly bending your knees and engaging your abs throughout, throughout our workout today. You will be hearing me say that a lot. Make sure you keep that core control to help you with your movements. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. So our next stretch is our chest stretch. This is gonna focus on our chest muscles. Bring your hands behind you and I want you to pull down. If you have a little bit more flexibility in your lower back, give me a little bit of a back bend. If you struggle with that, just keep your chest up and I want you to pull your shoulders back. This is gonna help stretch out our muscles up front, help us get ready for our upper body movements throughout our workout, and also help stretch out our lower back and our hips for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's move right into our next stretch, which is our tricep stretch. This is going to stretch out this muscle right through here, our tricep and also our deltoid muscle, our shoulder. So we're gonna bring our left arm over our right, left arm over your chest. You're gonna hook it with your right arm, like so. I want you to pull that left arm to your chest and hold it for 20. Very good, make sure those feet are spread to like a little bit of a straddle position and then also slightly bend those knees. You're aiming this arm, this left arm, to your collarbone. Pull in a little bit more with that right hand. Very good. We have our final 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Final 10. Three, two, and rest. Going into our next stretch, we have our final stretch for before we start our workout is our side stretch. For this one, spread your feet a little bit outside of hip distance. Keep your core engaged. And I want you to lean over using your left hand, leaning to your right. Now use this right hand, and I want you to push your hips over to the side. So you see that movement, push, push, push. This is gonna help you stretch out your hips and also your lower back. You should feel this stretch on your left side of your lower back as you reach over your ear with your left arm. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, coming up and opposite side and reach. Very good, bring those arms all the way across your ear. Open up that chest. If you struggle with a lot of lower back tightness, this movement is gonna help you engage your lower back. So you should feel that little relief within your lower back muscles for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up nice and tall, all right. Let's get ready to jump right into our workout today. We will be having breaks throughout each workout, okay? After every two exercises, we'll take a 20 second break and then we'll start back. Anytime throughout the workout, feel free to get a sip of water, pause the video and come back and join me. Our first exercise is our tricep dips. For this one, we need a chair or a bench beside us. With a chair being behind us, we're gonna actually have our hands close to our waist. So drop your hands right by your hips. From there, walk your hips off the bench or the chair. Keep your feet underneath you. Now for advancement, you're gonna have your legs straight out. For modification, you're gonna have your legs bent. If you're advanced, go ahead and start. For modification and beginners, let's go through how to do the movement. Keep your hips close to the chair. From here, lower your body down by using your arms only. Do not use your hips. So you don't wanna thrust, all right? Dip down and press down, press. Now, as you notice, I am engaging my abs, so I'm squeezing my tummy. I'm focusing on keeping my elbows close by my side. I'm not flaring my elbows out. 
but I'm keeping them nice and close, focusing on that tricep muscle there. We're looking for 25 seconds, get a nice squeeze up top, extend those arms all the way out. You wanna lock at the elbow, come down and bend. Your butt should get at least about three to six inches above the ground. Final 15 seconds. Five, four, three two and one walk your butt back to the seat and stand up all right let's move into our next exercise we have lunges for this exercise we're going to have our left leg in front right leg behind us taking a big step back for advance go ahead and start out for 60 seconds for our beginners we're going to walk through our first few seconds let's make sure that our hips are tucked under look at my movement this is extended back tuck under. You should engage your butt muscles. You should also engage your tummy. From there, I want you to position your body weight through your front leg, going down, slightly leaning your chest forward, and then pressing back up. I want you to focus on sitting your body weight to this hip right through here of that left leg and press through that front heel, press through that heel, and back up. If you find yourself Losing your coordination, feel free to hold something stable, a stable surface, all right? But as you gain your coordination, you're gonna gain that through really tightening your muscles. So squeeze your butt and your core. Very good, we're looking for 25 seconds. Press through that front heel for me as you go down, press, very nice. Squeeze that butt up top and repeat, squeeze. We want to get everything out of each second of this workout today. So make sure you're keeping your form in check. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switching legs. If you have issues with your knees or your ankles, I want you to do this for your lunge. You're going to step back, knee comes up. Back, knee comes up. That's your modification advancement. Let's go ahead and go down into that lunge and go. Notice my front leg never straightens all the way. I keep a soft bend at my knee. Balance your weight on the balls of your foot on your back leg. Avoid that heel coming to the ground on that back foot. Fifteen seconds. The goal of this movement is to help you build and tone and tighten your butt. Also help you build sexy legs. If you struggle with issues like cellulite, this is a great exercise to work on those trouble spots for five, four, three, two, and one feet together. Very nice. Let's go into our next exercise, which is calf raises. Grab your dumbbells if you have them. I want you to focus on coming up to your toe. We're gonna to start this exercise in 20 seconds. Grab your sip of water, grab your sweat towel, and we're gonna start in just a few minutes, a few seconds. Now, during these breaks, I want you to take a break. Don't try to work through your breaks. When you start getting tired and fatigued, you're gonna start losing your form. When you start losing your form, you're gonna start creating stress on your body unnecessarily, so make sure you take breaks. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Have those dumbbells by your side. Press up to your toes like a ballerina all the way through. Your goal is to use your big toe. The big toe helps us balance, right? So think about pressing through that big toe, controlling your weight back down, your heels to the floor. Squeeze that calf muscle, this muscle right through here as you come up. Squeeze. As you continue to train with me, you're gonna learn how to really connect, you know, the brain to the muscle is what we call mind-muscle connection. You're gonna learn how to connect those two. 
And to start doing that, I want you to really be present throughout your workouts and be in tune with the muscles that we're targeting. Twenty-five more seconds. Squeeze that muscle as you come up to that calf raise. If you struggle with ankle mobility or stability, I should say, or weak ankles, this is a great exercise to help strengthen the ankle joint and the muscles that help stabilize that joint as well. Like your big calf muscle, as we call it, the gastrocnemius. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next, we have our leg raises. For this one, you feel free to use a band. We're gonna do this variation standing. Feel free to be on the floor. I want you to grab a stable surface. I have my desk here. We're gonna start on our left leg. Make sure your toe is pointed towards your face like this. From there, keep your chest up high. Give me some small pumps pulse like motions to the side. With your resistance bands, for the most part, the darker colors are gonna be more heavy intensity. So try to choose a lighter color. If it's too easy, go up. As we're working our left leg, we should also feel our right leg working too. The right leg is stabilizing our movement. So you should feel your quads here you should feel your butt muscle here just as much as you feel the left leg. These are small, tiny movements, but they pack a punch. We got 25 seconds. Keep that chest high, tummy tight. Five. Four, three, two, one. Rest. All right. Use the opposite hand if you can for, you know, use some type of stable surface. If you don't have one, that makes it more of a challenge. So this time I'm not going to use anything to hold on to. Bring that toe up and start your movement. This makes you really kind of work on your balance and coordination. As you notice, since I don't have anything to hold on to, I'm tapping, tapping my foot to the floor and then up. Tap up. Good, we're looking for 60 seconds on this side. Breathe through each movement. Good job. I know it's burning, and you're gonna start wanting to really make small movements, but keep them big. Try to bring that leg up as high as you can. It's not gonna come all the way out to the side, but do maximize your movement as much as possible. We have 20 seconds left. Remember, you should feel both legs working in this exercise. Left leg is stabilizing us, and we have our active leg, which is our right, for 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and rest. Good job. Go ahead and remove that band. Now let's go right into our next exercise. Grab a sip of water as we go into our 20 second recovery break. Our next exercise coming up in 10 seconds is our plank. This is a great exercise for helping you gain your core strength for those that maybe are just coming um, from being off of working out or not working out from years. This exercise is great for you gaining your core strength, okay? So we're gonna go into this motion on the floor. For those that are advanced, go ahead and go into an advanced plank starting now. For those that are beginners, you're gonna come down to your elbow. And I want you to walk your knees from underneath your hips. You do not wanna be like this. Position your body here. Go ahead and squeeze your abs and tuck your hips under. So this is what you do not wanna do. You wanna really tuck your hips under. Reposition your elbows if you need to. Now I want you to hold this movement for 45 seconds. 
The hard part about this exercise is really, um, you know, learning how to use your upper body for one, and two, maintaining this posture for the length of time. Because usually most times, most people want two, and you might be doing this now, really slump your hips. And I want you to focus on keeping them up. Squeezing your glutes tight. 25 seconds. You, you can feel free also to cross your ankles here, your ankles if you want to. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, let's move on to our next exercise. Our next exercise we have is push-ups. This one is still on the floor as well. For this exercise, I want you to be on your hands and on your knees, all fours. All right, now, if you can, walk those hands a little bit outside of shoulder distance. So instead of directly underneath your shoulders, walk them out. For those that are advanced, you know what to do. Go ahead and start your push-ups out for 60. Modification and beginners, I want you to tuck your hips under. All right, squeeze your butt nice and tight. And from there, lower your body to the floor and push back up. Now the goal is to create a straight line. So if you can imagine an imaginary white line coming from my head to my hips, I wanna keep that straight line there throughout my movement. And as my glasses fall off, <laughs> we're gonna lower the body up, down to the floor and back up. Push-ups is one of my favorite exercises to build my shoulders. So I wanna make sure that you're understanding how to do these properly so we can really sculpt our upper body and tighten those areas of concern, like those triceps, what most people call bird wings. We're looking for 25 seconds on the clock. Those shoulders should be nice and warm. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. All right, let's come back to our feet and let's continue our workout. Now you have your 20 second break. So grab a sip of water. You can pause for a second if you need to. All right, fan yourself right now. If you're really, really hot like I am right now from really um, working and getting up my body temperature as we're challenging ourselves throughout this workout. I appreciate you being accountable and consistent. Consistency is what gets you to your overall goal. So don't give up, keep pushing. We have our final eight seconds. We're gonna get ready for our next exercise, which is coming up. We have our sit-ups. So we're back on the floor in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come to the floor. For advancement, you're gonna give me a full sit-up. Coming down, all the way up. Go ahead and start out now. For those that are beginners, you're gonna bend your knees slightly. Soft bend at your knees. Go ahead and tuck your hips under. So instead of here, you're gonna tuck them under. Hip, tilt your hips. You wanna feel a tightening in your abs. From here, bring your hands up as if you have like a cable machine behind you or a rope. I want you to pull down. So aim like, aim. I want you to think about aiming your elbows to your hips. Come back up, create a little bit of arch. This helps you relax the abs, and then you come back and then you work them. Relax and work. We're looking for 45 seconds. Good job. Squeeze, make sure you're keeping the tension, contracting your tummy muscles and also your butt. So that's gonna help you keep your movement in, in line, squeeze. Good job. Just like working, doing a sit up on the floor, working the exact same muscles. If you do struggle, get, struggle getting on the floor, this is a great modification for you. Just imagine a wall, or I should say a mat behind your backside as you do your, mo your movement.
You're welcome to have dumbbells at this point too in your hands, maybe some light weight. We have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's go to the floor for our Russian twist coming up next. For advancement, you're gonna be on the floor. Your feet should be up. You're rotating to each side. That's your advance. Advancement, your modification for beginners, you're gonna stand up to your feet. I want you to bring your hands behind your head. I'm gonna face you. Hands are here. You're gonna bring up your left knee. Aim your right elbow to your knee, like so. And you're gonna alternate, all right? We're gonna do this for our remaining 45 seconds. Let's go ahead and get this one started. You might notice a little bit of instability with your balance, that's okay. If you need to bring your knee about a fourth off the floor, you don't have to bring it up as high all the way like I'm doing right here. Just bring it up just a little bit right there and rotate. When you're doing this movement, I really want you to think about your tor torso right through here, that you're really rotating it down and over and not just bring your knee up like this. You wanna make sure you get that twist in there to target those ab muscles, those, those obliques, which is the outer portion of your core, more near the side. We have 10 seconds. If you're on the floor right now, those feet should be up off the floor as you do those Russian twists for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. From here, let's go into our glute bridges. These are on the floor. We're gonna have a advancement and also a modification. And we're gonna start off with my beginners first. You'll be on the floor for your movement. For those that are advanced, I want you to grab a chair like I have behind me to perform your movement. If you're advanced, you already know. This exercise, we're performing our glute bridges for 60 seconds. Now, if you are advanced, to give you a few tips, make sure that you are pushing your hips up, squeezing your butt, and your hips should come back like a swing. Most people just drop their hips, but the swing back is what really is gonna help you engage those abs, not your abs, but I'm sorry, your hamstrings. Of course, you are tightening your abs, but really swing those hips back to engage the muscles behind our legs and back up. Now, if you're on the floor with your mat, beginners, we're gonna have our hands behind our head. Bring your feet underneath you, about 90 degree, and press those hips up as high as you can. Very nice. Your feet should be hip distance. As you come up, you should also squeeze your butt as you come up and avoid hyperextending. Come in too far like this. Your goal is to keep a straight line from your knee to your hips to your chest. You should see a straight line right through here. Boom, boom, boom. Those three checkpoints. Good job. We're looking for 20 seconds. Push. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, let's come back to our feet. From here, we're going to go into our single leg squats. These are also known as Bulgarian split squats. Really great for tightening your legs, working on those trouble areas, and also helping you build a nice but along the way, all right? So we're gonna go into single leg squats for those that are beginners. You're gonna have both feet on the floor. We're gonna start with our left leg in front and we're gonna do a basic lunge. I want you to lean a little deeper into this movement for your Bulgarian split squats. A little different than your lunges, so really focus on leaning into that movement into that front leg. For those that are advanced, of course, you already know, you have that back leg propped up on that sofa or bench, coming down and back up. This is your advancement. We're looking for 60 seconds. Remember, if you're a beginner, all right, make sure you have those hips tucked under, you're squeezing those abs, and you're leaning into that front leg, pressing away. 
keeping that balance. Shoulders stay rolled back. If you have dumbbells in your hands right now, if you're advanced, you should, okay? You're gonna find yourself wanting to roll your shoulders forward. And I want you to really focus on rolling them back as you do your movement. We're looking for 20 seconds, pushing through that front leg. With the Bulgarian split squats, the split squats, I like these because you can get a little bit lower and engage more of those muscles in your butt and hamstring for 10 seconds we have remaining. Get as low as you can for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch to your right leg. For the right leg, I'm gonna use the advancement for those that are advanced right now. All right, and start it out. In this movement, I'm really thinking about keeping my tummy tight and squeezing my butt as I come up. When I move, and this is what I want you to do right now, shift your weight to that hip. So instead of just going down into it, I really like to go down and over a little bit, but it's pushing my hips to the side just a little bit to really help engage the butt muscles, to really help me work on areas like lifting your butt naturally. This is a great exercise for that if you wanna really work on that area. We're looking for 25 seconds. Make sure you're breathing through as you come up. Breathe out. You should hear me breathe a little bit. I want you to think about that as you're working out right now too. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Now that one is a challenging one. We're gonna go from there to our next exercise. Before we start, of course, we have our 20 second break and recovery. Great time for you to catch your breath. Maybe do some little light stretching, coming down, touching your toes, maybe some arm swings or some shrugs, whatever you feel like you need to do. Do some kickbacks. And of course, grab some water. We have 10 seconds. All right, for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so our next exercise is our reverse lunge. This is similar to our split squat, but we are moving now. So instead of stepping back to a chair, we're actually gonna step back to the floor. Our leg comes back and then we push back through and then we alternate, push back through. So go ahead and start this out. We're gonna both advance and beginners do this together. Knowing your form from our previous lunge, hips staying tucked under, focusing on that front leg, and pushing up from that front leg. Now as you see how I'm moving my hands here, this is not something you have to do. I want you to learn as you train with me to make the workouts your own. Keep the fundamentals, yes, you know, pay attention to the tips I'm giving you, but your flow is gonna be a little different than I am, than my flow might be, so, if you need to say, hey, I need my hands out for balance, you can do that, or to my hips. Either one is fine. Remember, throughout all these workouts, if you're not being challenged, you should have weight in your hand. No exception. 20 seconds. You can also add a band at your ankle, preferably at your knee, right above your knee for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, are you ready for our next exercise? This is our last and final exercise. We have box jumps. Now, you probably say, Jess, I don't see a box. Correct, but we're gonna use our imagination with our box jumps. If you're at home, if you have a step, go ahead and grab that step. Make sure it is sturdy, okay? You're gonna jump up to that step and jump back down. Every time you land, you're gonna slightly bend your knees. If you don't have a step at home, that's okay. I don't have a step here, but I'm gonna pretend. So I'm gonna take a big jump forward, squat down, big jump back, squat down. If you have issues with your knees and ankles, feel free to step forward, 
squat. Step back and squat. Our time is starting now, 60 seconds. If this is too easy right now, I want you to give me full jumps. All right, yes, full jumps, forward and back. I'm gonna continue with the modification for those that are beginners, taking a big step forward. It doesn't matter which, which leg you take a step forward with. All right, I just want you to move forward and back. Good job. We have 25 seconds and we're almost done. I have a chair slightly behind me, you can see. So every time I'm coming back, I'm actually aiming for my chair. It's helping me know how low I need to go. Keep that chest high. Squeeze those abs. Keep them tight for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one, and rest. Good job. Grab your sip of water. We're gonna go into our one minute challenge. You know we always have a challenge to finish this off. This is your finisher, okay? Then we're gonna go into our cool down and stretch. Great job today. So let's go into our 60 second challenge, which is plank jack. So we're gonna to come to the floor and let's walk through our movement. For those that are advanced, you're here. You're jumping out and in for 60 seconds. For those that are beginners, your hands are underneath your shoulders. You're gonna come up with your feet together. You're gonna tap out and back in, tap out and back in. Now, if you're at this point and you said, I cannot do that, that is so hard for me, Jess, I want you to come down to a modified view or position, and I want you to walk your hands. First, they should be together. You're gonna to walk them out, walk them in. We got three variations here. All right, choose which one better fits you and challenges you. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, and timer says go, let's bring it up. Out and in. Remember, advance me, you're here for 60. Avoid too much excessive bouncing, so really focus on sliding your feet out and not jumping them like this, okay? You can dial it down to here. Baby steps. Keep those arms nice and extended. 25 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome, awesome job. Let's go into our cool down and our stretch, and let's close out this workout. Good job today. So our first stretch we have is our cat cow. We're on all four, so go ahead and stay on the floor with me for this one. Hands or hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath those hips. I want you to go ahead and arch that back. Oh, so good, arch that back, chest up, and then suck in that tummy, tuck it in, and then repeat. Arch that back, at this point it's okay to let that tummy go a little bit, all right, and then tuck back in, round your hips underneath you, almost like a crunch position as you tighten those abs, and repeat. Remember each stretch and cool down is for 20 seconds. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Our next stretch we have is our chest opener. You're gonna come to prayer-like position on your knees. Bring your hands behind you and I want you to stretch back. Aim your hands to the floor, roll those shoulders back. And hold this position. Very nice, 10 seconds. So as we cool down right now, I want you to really congratulate yourself. You can pat yourself on the back. You can even say, you know, go girl, go. <laughs> Make sure you encourage yourself as you get ready to close out this workout. You did good. It was, this was a challenging workout today. We're gonna go into our next one, which is our shoulder um, and upper back stretch for this exercise. 
we're going to do this one on the floor. We're going to reach to the um, ends of our end of our knee down to our knee, coming to the floor. I want you to focus on really rounding your shoulders. So look at my posture here. I go from here to here, almost like a hunchback position, rounding my shoulders forward, actively pulling or pushing my fingers to the floor. See this? Push. Very good. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, let's go into our next exercise or our next stretch. We have our seated forward bend. For this exercise, we're on um, our, our butt, of course. Feet are in front of you. You're welcome to do this one standing too, but we're gonna be on our bottom. We're gonna reach to our feet. Go ahead and point those toes to your face as you reach. Stretching out those hamstrings, which we worked hard today. You worked a little bit of everything today, upper and lower, full body workout. If you struggle with form throughout the workout today, it's okay. I want you to know that form is learned. It's not something that you just grasp, just like, you know, understand a new skill. You have to be consistent and continue to repeatedly do this, these movements, okay? As you do that, you're gonna learn the techniques. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, what's up next? We have our final and last. We have supine twist, twist, supine twist, excuse, excuse me. And then we're gonna go into our, um, I'm gonna give you a different variation that can advance this one. Come all the way to the floor, hands out, or behind your head. For more of a mild stretch, keep both feet on the floor. Go into each side. For more of an advanced stretch, go ahead and bring those feet up. Rotate to each side. This should feel, this should feel really good. Stretching out your lower back. This is for your, your lower back and your, and your stretching. You should feel that stretch come across the left side as your knees go to the opposite side. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Roll into your side and coming up. Very good. So thank you so much for finishing your workout today and I will see you on your next video. See ya.